taking to the streets in demand of service delivery. A wave of violent protest had erupted in most communities around Pushback Ridge. Tree trunks, stones and burning tires were used to blockade the roads. These protesters are demanding proper roads and water. Government doesn't listen in, an, in their ears. They want us to strike before they answer us what we want. It's been a long time sending them letters, trying to, to connect with them. We think that the uh, President, Premier and uh, municipality, including uh, what can say, we will see that we are serious about these things. Government condemns the destruction of infrastructure as a form of protest. Communities are urged to be responsible when protesting. The provincial government blames the rain for the bad condition of the roads. Also therefore request that community members must also work together with the department because uh, last uh, few weeks they've touched one of our uh, grader. So on Thursday we will be sending another grader. Uh, we will be also as, uh, requesting the SAPS to assist us on, in that regard. Uh, we are aware as a department that there's that challenge of road infrastructure in the province. We are reprioritizing the list of the road to be reconstructed uh, in the next financial Financial year, which starts uh, on the 1st of April in this year. Authorities are adamant that the destruction of infrastructure derails government's efforts to improve basic services. As budgets are diverted to repair damaged property instead of financing new projects. I am Eric Lubisi for SAPC News in Pushback Ridge.